Uh, thanks indeed, Christine. Yes, viewers, uh, the biggest story today is uh, a sad one because it's a commentary on the state of relations between communities in our country. Viewers, in India today, you can be stigmatized for being a BJP supporter or even an RSS sympathizer. Yes, viewers, you will be stigmatized. You will be called a slave of the Sang Parivar if you happen to meet the RSS chief. In fact, as the riots in Leicester have demonstrated, you could be grievously harmed for being both those things even abroad. So it has come as no surprise that the chief imam of the All India Imam Organization, we were speaking about him a few days back, viewers, all of us, Umar Ahmed Ilyasi, has today been threatened with decapitation because he hosted RSS chief Mohan Bhagwat at his home. Yes, viewers, he's getting death threats. Mohan Bhagwat had called on Ilyasi to explore ways to strengthen community relations and improve the prospects for communal harmony in this country. It was an Aman Ki Asha that brought the RSS chief to Ilyasi's door. It so happened that after the meeting, Ilyasi hailed RSS chief as Rashtrapita, the father of the nation, and that's really worked up some people in this country the enemies of peace, of Aman in this country. When a meeting like this happens, when the RSS is welcomed by the Muslim community, you would think that it would be welcomed by all, especially those who allege that the RSS is Islamophobic or have been made to believe so, viewers. But listen to Ilyasi's conversation with an unknown man who threatens to kill him. Ilyasi decides to record this conversation so that he can put it out in the public domain. This person had been calling him time and again. Listen in. I क्या होगी नहीं होगी मुझे इन सब बात से डर नहीं लगता ना मैं किसी के डर में आता हूं ना मुझे किसी का थ्रेट है आप तो गुलाम हो ना नहीं मैं गुलाम हूं या मैं कुछ भी हूं मुझे मैं आपसे डरने वाला नहीं हूं मुझे देश भर से कुछ भी बोलो इलियासी इज डिफायंट डिस्पाइट द डायर थ्रेट टू हिज लाइफ ही स्पोक टू टाइम्स नाउ ही हैज स्पोकन पब्लिकली टू से दैट इन हिज माइंड्स आई Mohan Bhagwat remains a respectable figure, worthy of being the father of the nation, in his mind's eye, viewers. And he's not going to retract these comments. Listen in. As I have a phone call, an international call comes to me, so I have taken it and said to me, I started to get a sense of it. I asked him, what's your name? He said, my name is Suhail Khan. I said, where are you from? He said, I'm talking from England. So he said, the first thing is that why did you call Mohan Bhagwat Ji in the Imam House? The other thing is that you called the Raja Pita and the Raja Rishi who you gave the Raja Pita, who you said, who you said, why did you call the Raja Pita? So I said, I'm going to ask him, 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 बुलाया और ना ही मैंने आपसे पूछकर उनको कोई देना है उनको मुझे क्या सम्मान देना है फिर उन्होंने इस बात पर जो उन्होंने जिस तरह की जो बदतमीजी की है जो शायद मैं आपके चैनल्स पर इसको चुके सारों जी नहीं नहीं कर पाऊंगा बहुत अब शब्द जो जो नहीं कहने चाहिए वो भी उन्होंने मुझसे कहे और जिस तरह से उन्होंने कहा कि अब आप मरोगे और अब आपको जहनुम में जाना होगा at intimidating anyone who's looking to build communal bridges. The ecosystem, of course, is silent because if they perhaps speak up in favor of Ilyasi, then they will be conceding that the RSS today 
is not just legitimate but also acceptable to members of the Muslim community. So the ecosystem is completely silent. And I'm talking about viewers, mainstream opposition, so-called secular parties as well, as a large number of so-called peaceniks in the Latians setup. Now, viewers, I want to show you some visuals on your screens because these visuals by themselves will bring out the hypocrisy of what we are witnessing today. The first visual will be of Rahul Gandhi meeting with a pastor in Kerala pretty much at the beginning of his Bharat Jodo Yatra. Now that's Father George Ponaya, a priest who has at different points in time, viewers, come out and said that there is only one God and that is Jesus. He has also come out and not made his disregard, let's put it like that, for symbols of the Hindu faith be known. Now viewers, when Rahul Gandhi was asked about this meeting and the Congress party was asked about this meeting, who a large number of Hindus believe, with the pastor who a large number of Hindus believe, has a very strong exclusivist worldview that others, Hindus and even Muslims, the Congress said this is the whole idea behind Bharat Jodo. You meet people who you don't agree with because you have to understand them and then hopefully convince them of the truth. But when Mohan Bhagwat of the RSS meets Ilyasi, that is considered, viewers, an act of servitude on the part of Ilyasi. He's called a slave. This is strange hypocrisy, viewers. I want to show you another visual. This is Rahul Gandhi meeting an individual who incited a large number of Hindus by slaughtering a cow. Now, viewers, the pictures of him slaughtering a cow are too grotesque to be shown on television. But Razil Makuti slaughtered the cow. And today, viewers, not as in today, as in today, but a few days ago, Rahul Gandhi was seen marching with this man in his attempt to unite the country. Now, viewers, this is the same man that Rahul Gandhi once said that what he did by slaughtering a cow was a shameful and barbaric act. But today has no compunctions. Now, this too, the Congress presumably will say is an act of compassion. It's an attempt to reach out. It's an attempt to understand. But when Mohan Bhagwat and Ilyasi meet, then viewers, it's a problem. Now, unfortunately, Ilyasi won't be the first or the last to be called a traitor to the faith for trying to build bridges with the RSS or any other Hindu organization. In Moradabad, bike boycott call, one lakh bounty on a Muslim man, reason the man and family showered petals on the RSS, Padhyatra. This is in April 2022. Babbar threatened, beaten to death for celebrating a BJP victory. He was killed for celebrating the BJP's victory. He was getting threats. This is March 2022. A Muslim woman in Bareilly defies her husband, votes for the BJP, thrown out of her home, alleges that she was threatened with divorce. This is again March 2022. Death threats then in Badayun. Shah Rukh Sefi votes BJP, gets death threats from Samajwadi Party leader again March 2022. This is all in the connection of, of course, the elections in Uttar Pradesh. Viewers, who really are the dividers in chief? Aren't the silent members of the ecosystem the real dividers in chief? Let's ask some basic questions tonight and I want to begin with uh, Vikram Anar, Akil Khan, and Rahul Ishwar, Ishkaran Bhandari. Let's, let's first ask Mr. Vikraman. Mr. Vikraman, 
Forget about this death threat for a moment. Just set that aside. What is the problem in engaging the RSS? Why is the RSS stigmatized so? And that too in isolation. Listen, RSS has never been a, a political organization. It is a cultural organization. Cultural organization that spreads a culture of hate, hatred against its fellow citizens just because they belong to a different faith, just because they are minorities, just because uh, they are, uh, you know, uh, they belong to the scheduled community, scheduled caste people, scheduled tribes people. RSS, RSS wants the Hindu Rashtra in the country. RSS wants Hindu to be the race of this country. He, he believes that everybody uh, living in this country is a Hindu. And it wants in the Christians, Muslims and everybody as Hindus. They want to accept as Hindus. That is what the RSS is demanding. He doesn't believe in uh, multiplicity. He doesn't believe in diversity. It, it wants a single uh, um, race. It wants a single language, okay. single okay. culture. Me, okay, I've heard you. I've heard you. Just a quick question, though. Uh, you're from the VCK. You're the spokesperson of the VCK that shares power with the Congress and the DMK in Tamil Nadu, right or wrong? Yes. Okay. So let me ask you a small question. You must be quite upset that Rahul Gandhi met an exclusivist preacher, pastor in Kerala called George Punaya. Tamil Nadu. Not Kerala, Tamil Nadu. Yes, in Tamil Nadu. You must be quite yeah, upset yeah. by that. Why we should be quite upset by that? So you're not upset by a pastor who says that there's only one God. There's only one God. And there is no such. And, and that is Jesus Christ. And he's the real God. So everyone else who worships any other God is obviously not a religious person, must be a kafir. And that's okay for you, right? Okay, fair enough. That's your no, that, that was a, That was an interpretation you are ah, interpreting. It's an interpretation. That was a different interpretation. Okay, so so an interpretation. And George Ponaya is no equal to I can RSS, play out the uh, sound bite. I can play out the sound bite. You can play out the I'll just sound play it bite. Out. Give me, I can give say me, how you interpret this Give me words, 30 seconds. We'll how play it is this manipulated. Out. Okay, okay. Manipulated, how it is interpreted, edited. this, that. Sir, Mr. Ponaya, it's not the first time. He said this. These are videos of him also available online. You can have a look. Insulting Bharat Mata. Can I also ask you, the Congress party has never shied away from its associations with a man called Zakir Naik. Is that also okay in your book? Mr. Vikraman. So what is the point in you asking these questions? I don't the understand. The point is, sir, that the point is duplicity and hypocrisy. You want to... But aligning with minorities is not duplicity. politics is based on opposing one side. No, 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 no. RSS is not no, one, one side. Second. And painting one side is hateful and bigoted. But, sir... So you mean to but, say sir, one RSS second, one represents second, one Hindus? Second. No, Mr. One second. I'll get, I'll get, I'll get Rahul Ishwar and the others to respond to that question. Give me 30 you seconds. You are not responding to my question, sir, Rahul. I'm, I'm not here, sir, to give my point of view. Because when I do, then you find that objectionable. Then you say that I'm not being a, a balanced anchor. So you make up your mind what, which version of Rahul Shiv Shankar you want on <laughs> the news channel first, okay? First, you think that through. Because the last time I was with you, you took objection to the fact that I took a side. So today, I'm not taking a side. So don't ask me. I can tweet to you. I'll tell you what I think. Okay? I'll tell you what that I think. That is totally up I'll to you. I'll tell you what I think. Because let me tell you, viewers, that just recently, Mohan Bhagwat got a visit from five very prominent Muslims. And everyone knows their names. They even, at least one of them, the former chief election commissioner of India had to write an article in the newspaper to explain to outrage Muslim brothers as to why he met Mohan Bhagwat. And he put it in a very well-reasoned context. This is about truth, reconciliation, building bridges, etc., etc. 
So if these five individuals, leading prominent citizens of this country, S.Y. Qureshi, Najib Jung, um, several others, three others, Shahid Siddiqui, a prominent hotelier also, all of them met. And they, they told us why. Viewers, Mr. Ilyasi also met. You've had Pranam Mukherjee, the former president of India, the late Pranam Mukherjee, who went to an RSS function and called Hegrevad the true son of India. You've had Ratan Tata, you've had several people. All of that is thought as being very good moves to build community relations, etc., etc., but Vikraman has a problem. Vikraman will not condemn all these other people who have gone. He will not condemn the Congress's tallest leaders, Pranam Mukherjee, for attending. But he has a problem because he's playing to a political gallery. That's fine. You can do that. Now, I just want to bring in Rahul Ishwar and Ishkaran Bhandari. I also want to bring in Dr. Majid Talikoti, National Convener of the Muslim Rashtriya Manch First. Dr. Talikoti, are Muslims like you who are part of the RSS slaves to Hindus and Hindutva and a racist outlook, as Vikraman says? Simple question. Yeah, good evening. Uh, uh, normally, what happens is the perspective from where one looks at is quite different. Even when I was uh, not associated, my perceptives were different. But you will not believe the things, the way the I'll tell you a few quotes which Mohan Bhagwat ji said and then you can take a call on it and then you can the Muslims the Indians can decide on it like whether it's a communal verdict or it is a verdict to unify like I would first request the minorities that we should not fall trap the trap what is open now okay. that for example that Islam is in danger in India or Muslims are in danger in India you see the second largest population of Muslims in the world is in India you see, here in India, the Muslims are doctors, engineers, advocates, and everything. So what normally happens is there is always a trap. And uh, the trap is for a political gain. The trap is that, see, you are in danger. You are going to be killed. You are going to be made zero. Your religion would be uh, brought down. If you see, Mohan Bhagwat ji went where? He went to a mosque. He met whom? He met a Maulana. And what was the need for a person of his repute or the Maulana to meet uh, Mohan Bhagwat ji? Because Mohan Bhagwat ji I have met several times and I have noted down what he said was, see, he, he also spoke that a Hindu cannot do lynching. He said, we, if we want to have a strong nation, we should always remember that we should unite. First is not a Hindu or a Muslim. It is an Indian that comes first. Okay. It's an Indian, not a religion that comes first. So Here so is the line which draws RSS, us apart. You are a Muslim and you are convinced that the RSS is Let, not a threat to the may, secular just fabric you, of see, this country. Okay, just see, 30 seconds. Then yeah, just, what just I'm telling, seconds. what I'm, what point I make to... Yes, just, yeah. yes, go on, finish your point. Make your point, finish it, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, uh, the solution is dialogue, not discord. We all have genes which are common among all of us. Maybe I may go pray namaz 
you may go make a go to a temple and this, see our genes are one but hamari puja paddhati alag ho sakti hai okay and we have to always keep into mind when someone comes and tries to hug you wants to make a point that we are one we are united we are not different why should we why should we be threatened why okay. when a person okay. comes for a noble cause to unite the major a majority and a minority why is not the good cause taken why is that point not noted very why is important. not that very uh, honorable person is it because um, there is a political yeah. agenda so what i mean to is say is that point we should are trying to capture vote banks fundamental point and this point is being made by dr majid ali koti and i want to bring in akil khan rahul ishwar nishkan bhandari now mr akil khan you're a political analyst a man in the know i'm told why would muslims from iran central asia afghanistan bangladesh myanmar all line up syria refugees muslims to live in india to seek refuge in india if the rss was everywhere and was islamophobic and lynching and killing and doing all sorts of unmentionable things to muslims and if muslims were in such danger in this country i don't feel muslims are in danger but i would like to say the two most important aspect uh, if you are at the power at the helm of the country the first is honesty and second is your intention if you are deciding anything whatever is smart howsoever is smart howsoever powerful you are if you don't have these two things you cannot do good to the country to the people of the country so but unfortunately mm -hmm. it is our nations i would say is misfortune that we are getting the leaders for so many years those they are not honest they are dishonest i would say and their intention is not good who are the leaders the should i should i prompt oh, you should oh, I mostly prompt you? mostly should those I, who are I, at the I, hand uh, should i should i one minute one minute sir let me ask you is it uh, sitaram yachuri and rahul gandhi that is the left the cpim and the congress because they allied with the isf which is a known sectarian muslim organization in west bengal would you say i would not uh, say about these these are not the powerful people they are not the, the powerful country. people okay uh, those so, who are not so at the helm of the power not, you okay. see they they so, are regional so, no one they are no, powerful no, 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 regional no, 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 but Kilkan, i would say step by step, the power the, the 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 ruling ruling party you congress and bjp okay so you now, so they are the people okay. they are so, not honest and so they are intention so whatever you do one second one second one second let me ask you you will not get the right result and you are just focused on your personal gain let me Your ask personal uh, i am uh, very glad so you are calling out everybody who is today criticizing mr elyasi for meeting mr bhagwat right you have a problem with that or you don't uh, have a problem with you that? see i don't think mr elyasi is the leader of muslim representing okay. the muslim so i don't think i don't think uh, and, do you uh, but, believe that do you believe I, that najib jung do you believe that uh, people like uh, sy qureshi etc uh their meeting with uh, mr um, uh, mr bhagwat was also sort of a betrayal of the muslim cause would you uh, say that i would say right now the condition is that they have uh, uh, very bad impression uh, about the decision of uh, this uh, banning uh, the banning this uh, sdpi pf sdpi pf i what ever it is so you approve of uh, the so i don't i don't the think of, uh, you see PJ, let, let me let me let me PJ, finish let PJ me finish Joseph. let me don't put your words into my mouth i uh, i would say my my uh, version is very clear mm -hmm. that is uh, at this juncture mm -hmm. uh, the intention of the government mm -hmm. and the honesty of government is in doubt Okay. very much in doubt so why it why it is doubt? in doubt because they are go, trying to meet okay. their political so ends to was meet their doubt? political no, ends second, second. to Mr. divert Akhil the Khan. attention from the real right. issues so the, the most important was issues he, where the country is facing was, they are diverting okay. so, so their intention you. they are let just creating a, a environment against pfi and against Akhil the Khan muslims Khan, let me ask you and i would say one one thing one thing i would say one thing in our country there are many rulers have come the invaders come but uh, mughals i would say uh, people were calling akbar mahan because he has united the country right. he was not uh, uh, concerned he 
intention was right yeah. I hope you're not going and to say he that was honestly day. honestly uh, developing the country also? and uh, India was Soneki uh, Churia during Answer Mughal time. Question. Now Answer what is the question? Person? Will you say that about Aurangzeb also? You see, don't put your words in no, your mouth. I'm asking I'm a question. I'm talking about, talking about Mughal, Akbar. right? Akbar. We are talking about Mughal. I, there are, talking about if you want to discuss the other, other, I am I, I, no, not uh, concerned with I am I'm talking about okay. Akbar. So let me ask you, one second. Let me ask you, is, is, uh, Rahul Ishwar and Ishkan Bhandari, what do you make of Akhil Khan here, who says that at the end of the day, the RSS is implacable, the BJP by banning the SDPI is sending a very wrong message of intolerance to Muslims. Rahul Ishwar, first you. Uh, two submissions. One, I don't belong to RSS, I don't belong to BJP, but I'm a Hindu activist who have immense respect for RSS and BJP. As a Hindu activist, I have personally filed cases against crazy crackpots like Satvi Prachi and uh, even you know I strongly oppose uh, these urban Nazis like uh, Yeti Narsing Hanat we should all oppose them. Second point but see the point is every community is having hardliners but it is up to the moderators and responsible people in the community to build community relation and Narendra Modi ji and Mohan Bhagavad ji has been consistently taking a Gandhian line inclusive approach pluralism secularism whatever name you have to call it you can call it they have been taking a very statesmanly approach and can we forget Mohan Bhagavad ji on record saying don't search for shiveling under you know every most and don't try to create troubles it was a statesmanly approach Narendra Modi ji talking about his childhood friend Abbas or reaching out to all the Muslim nations in the world at the you know beginning of his uh, journey Where is the honesty is and intention and just one more and just sir, just one more line and one more interesting thing Rahul Shivashankar that counts this very Rijil Makuti sir just one line this Rijil Makuti has been abusing me just last week itself when I was saying Narendra Modi ji is evolving into a second Mahatma Gandhi and this Rijil Makuti was abusing me in Kerala see the point is every nation needs moderation balance harmony uh, you know pluralism whatever name you can call it and Mohan Bhagavad ji and Narendra Modi Modi ji has been consistently taking that line. And one very important point, PFI not equal to Muslims. PFI is not the sole property of, you know, you know any community. PFI is just a hardline Islamist Wahhabi organization. We have great Muslim organizations like Muslim League and Evolve. Jamaat Islami, a progressive MES. There are a lot many Muslim organizations who has been, you know, doing great for India, including the Sufi organizations. But what is PFI? Is a hardline Wahhabi organization, yes. and I, it is reported in mainstream media that Modi ji consulted uh, or Modi ji's government consulted many Muslim organizations before taking an action on PFI. What were they doing for eight years? Those people, for eight years, those people, and those 2006 people it was established. PFI was established. What, those what, those what, what Modi government Amantia was doing Asa for eight? Yes, sir. They want the hatred to continue. They want the rivalry to continue. They are making a political capital out of the fault lines. Please remember, we need to heal the wounds, not accentuate it, not perpetuate it. Well, let me tell you, viewers, in our country, and Ishkaran Bhandari will now testify to this. Ishkaran Bhandari, I'll take you back to 2016, one of the most progressive so-called campuses on, in India, on Indian soil, in Delhi where slogans of Afzal Guru, Afzal Guru, Tere Katil Zinda Hai, were ringing out. And the sentence that was passed by the Supreme Court for the hanging of Afzal Guru was passed off as a judicial, judicial crime. That is what was said. Iskan Bhandari, that's the mindset. Now, how do you transact with that kind of mindset? I, 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 I would like Rahul, to interfere here. Question to me, that it was not uh, told by any Muslim it. organization. There was some Rahul, BSP people, those who are in the JNU, they right. had uh, uttered all these words and it yeah, was please, being don't investigated. Fake news here, Mr. Akil Khan. I think uh, you know, you're a responsible yeah. Indian citizen. Now, you know, if someone from I'm not saying your community or this community from an ecosystem. It was Come discussed on, in one, one second now. In please. the TV, one it was second. Yeah. Listen, it I was don't the, like people. Are, listen, uh, Akil Khan, I don't like people talking over me. Right? I've said it once, I've said it twice. You don't have to be part of this show if you want to keep interjecting. Right? I just made it very clear to you. No, 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 no. Now, uh, one, uh, one second. Now, one yes. second. Now, one second. Rahul. Yes. Go ahead, Ishkan Bhandari. Rahul, two short points. Firstly, on the PFI part, that the people don't trust the government to cause it to ban PFI. 
let the gentleman know that the Congress government in Kerala, in an affidavit, had said PFI is nothing but a new form of SIMI, which is a terror organization. Kerala High Court recently had said PFI, SDP are extremist organizations. So the government doing what, incidentally, for once, Congress had also recognized in an affidavit to court can hardly cast the government in light. But this is the mindset. Your question is spot on how to deal with this mindset because this mindset is of two types. One, scaremongering. Scaremonger create Pakistan. Scaremonger have 370. Scaremonger if a Muslim woman gets maintenance that your way of life will end. So overrule Shabano. Scaremonger that a Muslim woman should not have the basic dignity to be thrown out by talaq, talaq, talaq. Scaremonger if CAA comes in, which doesn't affect any Muslim that you will lose your citizenship. So one strategy is scaremongering to keep them as a vote bank to not allow their empowerment. The other is create absolute terror of Sar Tan Se Juda. If an imam meets somebody whom they do not approve of, this narrow breed does what not about, approve What about again, those... Again, uh, again, uh, again uh, uh, environment created by the government he and other uh, uh, organizations. Akhil Khan, I'm going to cut off... No, no, I'm going to cut this off... This is the first question. Cut off, cut off, cut off no. his sound. I this don't like... I told you once, told you twice, you are not yes, sitting thank you. on a channel where people yes. in the, no, I'm telling you, I've, I've cut, no, you don't, Thank debate you. is when you yes. allow somebody else to speak okay. yes. and then you respond. Okay. I will come to you. Just calm down. Yes. Okay. Yes. This Raul, is a fish market. Yes. Raul, hard hitting facts obviously cause tension and problems, so they want to interrupt and don't want the people to hear that. The other part I said is creating fear. If somebody meets an RSS chief or anybody you don't approve of, it's certain say. If somebody votes for BJP whom you think is your vote bank, you give him threats. If somebody celebrates a BJP win, you put a fatwa on him. If somebody from own community or from outside the Muslim world speaks on any issue, you again try to create a fair psychosis that don't speak on affairs belonging to our community, but otherwise okay. we are a secular country. So this scaremongering right. and terror go hand in hand and both need to be crushed by the government of okay. India. Okay, so viewers, I've got two minutes on this show and I just want to share five points with you. Five points. When someone tells you that um, those people engaging the RSS are doing a disservice to the cause of secularism, number one, and their own community, number two, you tell them these five points. That there is an ecosystem here, political parties, great so-called liberal intellectuals who will push for talks with Pakistan, which is the most illiberal, Hindu-phobic country on earth, viewers. That, viewers, has committed itself to slash India with a thousand cuts, to bleed India dry, to split India. That's okay. You can have biryani with Pakistan, but you can't have biscuits with Mohan Bhagwat. One. Second point, viewers, you tell these people that you oppose the ban on PFI, activists convicted viewers, convicted for chopping the hand of a professor. Professor for blasphemy, which is not even a crime under Indian law, and a group that was called by the Kerala High Court, no less, an extremist organization, but you can't have a conversation with the RSS, which has never yeah. been in these words pulled up by the courts. Three, they will queue up to engage separatists like Yasin Malik, like the one that has died, whose name I'm glad to have forgotten, viewers. Now I'm being told his name is by Nizam Bhai, Mr. Gilani. Forgetful character, loathsome individual. But queue up to engage him, but you will cancel the RSS, viewers. The, for, the fourth point, no, no, let me finish my points. You will call the hanging of Afzal Guru and Yaqub Memon as judicial murder, but label the RSS as extremists. You will rationalize the attack on Hindus in the United Kingdom by blaming Hindu extremists from the RSS, viewers. But you will keep quiet when China butchers Muslims.
in its own country. It doesn't suit you, you see, viewers? It doesn't suit you. Remember those five points which I've told you and bring it up against the people who tell you that engaging the RSS is a disservice to the cause of secularism in this country. You tell them that. I leave it at this, viewers. Can I, can I, I leave it at this. Can I, can I, I've, I've moved on from this debate. Thank you very much, sir. We move on to another one.